Hi, my name is Jason Winburn. I'm a senior product engineer here at Bosch Rexroth, and today we're going to assemble ball rail. So first I'm going to start off with uh, my base here, and before I do anything, uh, it's been precision ground, and I just want to make sure that it's clean. Uh, one of the things that can uh, uh, cause a difficulty with precision mounting is to have a, a dirty surface. So right now I'm just going to put some alcohol on the base and do some cleaning to all of these surfaces that will require precision mounting. So next I would unpack my rail. Um, as you'll see I've already unpacked it but the reason I would not unpack it into this point is because I want it to uh, be lubricated as well as clean before assembly starts. So now I'm going to take my rail and one of the things about our ball rail is on both sides it has a reference edge. So I'm going to start out with my master side first. So it doesn't matter if I do the ball rail this way or flip it around this way. Both ways will be correct because I have a reference edge on both sides of my rail. All right, say for example my rail has some minor imperfections uh, on a non-mounting surface. I would make sure that I could stone it out with a uh, bench stone and any type of uh, imperfections I could just buff out. So now this is my reference edge so what I want to do is to make sure that this rail is butted up as is, 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 uh, square as possible and as flush as possible to my master edge also known as my reference edge. So how I'm going to do it today is to use the Bosch Rexroth wedge profile um, I don't have to use a wedge, wedge profile. There's other methods that I can uh, uh, push the rail up against the reference edge, but I'll be using the wedge profile today. And if you could look at the end shot of the wedge profile, it's more of a uh, trapezoidal type, uh, type profile. So the square side of the wedge profile will go against the reference edge of the rail. So right now my wedge is pushing up against my rail onto the, uh, the reference edge. So I'm going to first screw down the, the wedge profile. The wedge profile as it sinks into the pocket that I've already machined is going to push up against the reference edge of the rail drawing it closer to the reference edge of my base. First when I'm installing my wedge strip I just want to put in all the bolts with a light finger tighten. So now that I've got all my bolts in that are finger tighted, now I'm going to use my torque wrench to the specified torque for these size bolts to finish tighten, going from the inside out. So next I'm going to install my bolts with a finger tighten for my rail. So now, again, just like my wedge profile, I'm going to tighten the bolts starting from the inside out for my ball rail. So now it's time to install the float rail. As you'll see, my float rail is a two-piece butt joint. My sharp ends for my actual butt joint will be butted together. My chamfered ends will be on the outside. The same procedure for the float rail applies as for the fixed rail. We're going to clean and stone as needed. Now we're going to add bolts to the rail, just finger tightening. <laughs> 